In the modern world, the best advantage that you're going to have to get ahead in life is going to be becoming as attractive as humanly possible because as much as we hate it, man, we live in a very superficial society that's going to reward better looking people. So today, guys, I'm going to break down some male model secrets to make you look more attractive. And personally, I am a signed male model. I'm currently under multiple contracts all over the world. So it's quite literally my job to look my best and most attractive. So let's get on with the video. The first hack that we have is going to be all about the eyebrows. So one thing that's going to look more attractive is if your eyebrows are darker. So there's going to be a couple different things that we can do. First of all, this little hack is about two times per day. You can apply Rogaine or Medoxinil onto your actual eyebrows. So this will actually help them grow quicker and it's going to help them grow fuller and thicker. But you do have to bear in mind that if you stop the Rogaine, you could slow down the natural process of hair growth on the eyebrows. Another thing that you could do that I personally do is I will apply castor oil to my eyebrows on a daily basis. Castor oil has been scientifically proven to help with the hair growth as well. And so this will help make them thicker. The last little hack that you can do, just do not let anybody know that you actually do this is you can get a little eyebrow pin and just color them in every day make it very subtle and make sure that nobody knows that you're applying this personally i don't do that but you can do it this one is going to be a little bit extreme but if anyone really wants to level up their appearance it could help you look a lot more attractive so one thing that you could do let's say you naturally have brown eyes now brown eyes have been shown to be the least attractive eye color if i was you i would actually probably get colored lenses to change your eye colors now the number one most rated attractive color is actually going to be gray followed up with blue and then green is going to be third personally i naturally have green eyes and green eyes are actually the most rare eyes in the world so i actually love my eyes man i don't even care if it's not ranked the most attractive but i love my eye color so i will suggest man if you do have brown eyes, I mean, look at the difference it makes. It looks pretty sick. Maybe experiment with it, but either way, it's going to catch the attention of others. Building your neck will significantly change your appearance, make you much, much more attractive. But man, if you build up your neck aesthetics, it's going to make you look so much more masculine so much better looking. It is crazy. I mean, look at the before and after, man. But the goal is with the neck training. We don't want to look like a thumb. So the best rule of thumb is going to be, you want the neck to be about the same width as the jaw. Look at this photo of Brad Pitt. This is essentially what we're going for. It's very aesthetic, very attractive. So the best workouts to do, I've spoken about this in the past, but it's very simple, man. Just do a neck crunch on the bench and then you can slowly work up to where you add weights to this and then do a reverse neck crunch as well. I'm not sure if those are the proper names, but I'm going to touch video so you know how to properly do it. Of course, do this consistently about two times a week and slowly, slowly, you're going to build up that neck muscle to where it looks very aesthetic and very badass. You need to fix your complexion. So one of the most unattractive things is if you have very uneven skin and even pale skin as well. So the first suggestion is going to be getting some natural sunlight. If you cannot do this, maybe try the tanning bed, man. Just a little bit of color to where you have that natural glow. I love to go for like that golden glow. You don't need to be bronze, anything like that. Just a little bit of a sun kiss will do. Now, obviously, if you have acne scars, if you have red patches all over the skin, the skin is not even. Without sounding like a douche, I do not have these issues. I have very good skin and I never actually wear makeup, anything like that. I will always be completely transparent with you guys. But, but the number one hack, I'm gonna let you guys in on this. A lot of male models do this as well. You can put on a foundation that matches your natural skin tone. Now, here's a couple rules to this. Never let anybody know that you put foundation on your skin. None of your friends can know. None of your family can know. Your girlfriend cannot know. Literally nobody can ever know. This has to be like your deepest secret. If someone asks, do not tell them. All right, then keep your secrets. Good. But personally, man, I do not have it. I do not have it in my apartment. If any girls watching this want to come over and check, there is no makeup in my apartment. But here's what you do, man. Go to Sephora. Tell them that you have a photo shoot coming up and you need a foundation to match your skin tone. 
they will set you up. Just put a couple all over the skin, especially under the eyes, man, to get rid of those dark circles. So this will greatly increase your attraction, man. Just make it very subtle and make sure no one knows. A lot of people lack this very basic grooming regime and it's going to be exfoliation on a daily basis. So my two favorite ways to exfoliate is either with sea salt or sugar. And so you mix this with a very natural oil and personally I will put this on my face every single day and then scrub. So you wanna get all over the face and especially those lips because it's gonna add like those red, just attractive lips as well. So you exfoliate all the face, man. This is gonna get rid of all those dead skin cells so that you can keep regenerating your skin. You naturally have that glow, man. So you look much, much more attractive. If you have all these dead skin cells all over your face, you're not exfoliating. There's no moisturizer whatsoever. You're not gonna look as aesthetic as you can, man. For years, I always had the worst hairstyles just because I hated having to choose a hairstyle. I thought it had a lot of work and it was just too much effort. So I would just chop it up, just some random haircuts. I did not care. But guys, the best and easiest way to look more attractive is to choose a hairstyle that is going to correspond to your face shape. Now, personally, I have a diamond face shape, kind of in between diamond and oval, closer to the diamond. And with the diamond face shape, it's more long. And so it's good to kind of cover the forehead. And then I never want these sides in the back to be too short because then that's gonna elongate the face even further. But do more research, man, and find the best hairstyle that's gonna suit your face. And in addition to this, I'm gonna let you guys in on something. You can completely change the color as well. Like I've seen some people with darker skin, for example, they like bleach their hair. This shit looks so dope, man. Like that contrast. Or maybe you naturally look like a guy who could have platinum hair. You could go platinum, you could go black. Like, you can play around with the colors. And this is something that a lot of people don't do. They're a little bit too afraid to do it. But man, it can boost your attraction so much more. And it makes you look kind of like a bad boy as well if you have different hair colors and stuff. So I say play around with the men. Screw what society has to say. Now, this one is if your eye region is unattractive. So... How do you know if your eye region is unattractive? You're gonna have sunken in backs. You're going to have the prey eyes where your eyelids are completely visible. Maybe you have bad eyebrows. If this is you, man, I highly suggest getting some glasses. Glasses will increase the symmetry of this area and it will draw attention away from how unesthetic this area is in your face. So this is gonna be the best thing to do unless you actually get a cosmetic procedure, such as the almond eye procedure, something like this. But yeah, man, glasses will greatly improve the symmetry of the face if your face is not very symmetrical. And my last tip of the day is going to be completely stolen from Brett Maverick because he talks about this a lot. Personally, like I've said, I do not watch any other YouTubers, but some people send me his videos, so I glance at a couple. But the eyelash curler, well, essentially what it does, it's going to curl those eyelashes up forward making them look even longer than they are. So it's gonna make you look very aesthetic, like a pretty boy, like a singer, like Justin Bieber in his prime. Things like this, man, it makes you look a lot better looking from what I've seen. Just get an eyelash curler and curl those eyelashes on a daily basis before you leave the house. Once again, kind of with the makeup thing, never let anybody know that this is what you do. Just let them gaze upon the aesthetic eyelashes. Just let them appreciate it, let them compliment you and do not tell them your secrets. All right, then keep your secrets. If anybody watching this video needs help building an aesthetic male model physique, link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, Austin Wayne. Also, if anybody needs some supplements, we got pre-workout, creatine, high growth supplements, all of it, kaloseek.com or at link in the description box as well. Once again, if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe to the channel and like this video to push it out into the YouTube algorithm. That's it, I'm gone.